I'm AR60 with little to no content left, waiting for every patch to go by just to get new quests, character and regions. But it shouldn't be this way, right? Well, every patch they release a survey for players to complete and to tell them how the patch was at the end and you have an open-ended question for you to leave your suggestions there. I have a list of suggestions that I paste there every time and after two whole years of spamming that list and even expanding the list, they finally added something. Let's check my suggestion list and let's see how this will improve Genshin's quality of life. But first, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, it really helps. Maybe a subscribe if you're not and press that bell to make sure you don't miss any videos from me. Now, without any more interruptions, let's jump right into the video. First suggestion that I wrote in there is actually the one that they listened to. And it is, when we go here into the wishing system, is this banner. I wrote there like this. Please add like a new banner for characters or weapons that have been featured at least, I don't know, two or three times for more characters to get new reruns. But one thing I didn't mention, and apparently I didn't think about it, was that I wanted this to be like a standard character. <laughs> To be with a quaint fate. I'm pretty sure more people suggested this one and uh, a lot of people didn't mention this, uh, this little detail here. But at least we got a new banner, we got what we were looking for. With original banner, original character banner, this is actually more than we bar bargained for. With uh, a cute fate, point, fate system. Even though it uses the pink wishes. I mean, at least more characters get to have their reruns earlier and to have to be featured here. And since there's not that many regions, I think this will uh, we re rerun way, way sooner than uh, the characters being featured here. So that is actually a good plus, uh, at least from uh, from my opinion. But yeah, this was uh, this was the first. Now disclaimer: these suggestions aren't really in a particular order and when I do uh, think of a new suggestion I just place it here I don't reorder them or, uh, or something like that so yeah now the next suggestion that I um, I want to place is let's give you an example you run you run you go somewhere you want to go let's say uh, here to the Catherine but you remember that this Catherine has a quest for you and you don't want to get that so you teleport I don't know here right when you teleport with your stamina that low as you can see the stamina didn't recharge fully so now I run and I run out of stamina why is this a thing and why isn't this like when you teleport around restoring your stamina or at least when you teleport to a waypoint to have your stamina restored so not when you teleport like this to the jade chamber or to any event or uh, anything to have your uh, stamina or let's not replenish stamina when you teleport to a temporary weapon because people might exploit that so let's i don't know make your stamina be replenished when you teleport to an already placed permanent waypoint. I don't know why this isn't isn't a thing and why this and they didn't think of this, or maybe they thought of this and didn't want to implement it. I don't know. But that brings us to the next one that it's kind of linked to this uh, this one that I had. For example, let's say you jump into the water you don't have stamina you jump into the water right you right you know what happens when you jump into the water and don't have stamina and you're not in uh, in fontaine for example like this i have almost no stamina and i'm in the water right and i'm run out of stamina so apparently i faint i die but now as you can see in the top right in the bottom right cordon i don't have any of my uh, of my bursts can we please, for the love of God, get the burst at least when we teleport the statue, when we get our, where's the statue, our health back? Why doesn't this statue replenish bursts as well? Let's say, for example, I want to test a character's strength, I want to test a character's powers, right? I want her, I want the bursts. 
Why do I have to look on the map and find a, a helical uh, camp to go and use my elemental skills to get my elemental burst back? Why can't I just teleport here, get my burst and then go to whatever boss I want to test and do my thing and do my, uh, my testing? Why is this not a thing? Hoyovers, please, if you listen, please. Alright, it bring me to the next one. The next one is actually something I thought of with my friend. Um, as you can see, in my inventory, I have uh, plenty of stuff. You know, 1300 slimes, a lot of, lot of materials that I just uh, farmed over the years and they just stack up. But I have a friend that let he got just got Zhao just got ito and he doesn't have any slimes and he's so tired of doing this of farming for slimes or farming for anything like that that you just need to farm a lot since i have 1300 of this why can't i have a trade system to give him some of my slime condensate and to help him advance faster and not have him farm slimes every single day because at that point i saw something he got bored of the game and stopped playing for like a couple weeks just because every time he got on uh, he started playing the game he re remembered he had to farm slimes and then immediately quit the game so this is actually a minus if you if you think about it that you just uh, come back you have a, you, you're very motivated to play and then you remember i have to farm slimes Nope, 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 bye, I'm out. So let's, how about a trade system between players? Not weapons or characters, not artifacts or something like this that you need, you actually need your uh, to pay for or that, something like that. How about just this? I know you can purchase them from the shop, you can you you can exchange them from these, but uh, to get this you have to wish, so that's more money. But why isn't this like... A little system a quality of life for this this would, would have been amazing between players between friends all right next now that i've talked about that uh, that part let's talk about the rng on this on this bullshit because it's getting extremely annoying i have a couple of um, suggestions here with the artifact system and with the farming of the artifact systems um can, why can't we reroll one of these for the cost of i don't know anything mora primo gems just do what you want even genesis crystals if you really want to weld your way up to the top but this rng system that is not the uh, same percentage on, on every little uh, sub stats or even the main stats um why can't we reroll something for example here i have this as a best example right a goblet of hp it has a bit of crit damage has a bit of crit rate right it has some hp it has some defense for example i want to use this on a healer right if i use this on kokomi these two are pretty useless the crit rate and crit damage can't i reroll them so let's let's say this is a plus 20 right let me get a, pl a plus zero to give you another example maybe it will be better understood like this i don't have a force oh there you are so let's say this one right a goblet and a more damage bonus i can use this on zhao as a as an off piece right it has elemental mastery is not that great for zhao okay attack is all right crit damage is all right right how about that defense there I can, I don't know, spend 150, 200 Primo Gems or 160, like a wish, and do a reroll, right? How about three rerolls on the on uh, every plus zero artifact? At least like that, at least you can reroll this or, I don't know, search for a main stat, for a good stat. Why isn't this like a thing for uh, the artifact system? Because crit rate and crit damage in one of their uh, poll or i don't know whatever article they wrote they said they changed the uh, percentage on which you can get a, a crit stats or even uh, on a goblet when you get a, a elemental damage bonus stats but i don't f i don't feel it i don't know what they changed i don't know what they did but this thing is 
extremely rare a crit value on this one on, on a goblet or anything is extremely rare and it's extremely annoying to farm i'm not requesting god tier artifacts i'm requesting to stop uh, having like bullshit artifacts that doesn't have any purpose for example i don't know let me see if i can i i i know i have a lot of examples here look at this i'm not an albay domain i'm not an e domain but i'm 100 sure that they don't need a defense goblet right so how about just click a reroll here since it's plus zero reroll here pay a hundred primo gems i don't care and just reroll to one of those uh, from one on, the, on that pole that you cannot get now a defense again right so it gets hp and or, or any other elemental damage bonus right if it gets hp reroll again maybe a elemental damage bonus maybe you can get something good out of it because this thing, I think I got this one one year ago. And it's in plus zero form just for memes. Because I won't ever need a defense goblet with crit stats. And now, another thing for um, the artifact system. Happens in uh, an artifact domain. Let me see if I can find one randomly. So they changed the starting point, right? You don't start from all the way up there. You start from from here. And you, when you um, continue the the domain after you get the rewards, you spawn here, right? It's actually faster. It's all right. But why do I have to every time I run out of condensed to go here? Or here or anywhere on the map where there's an alchemy table why can't I have an alchemy table right here craft what I need and then continue so I don't have to just go every time out of my way to craft condense because I saw a lot of people just uh, gave gave up on their uh, on their farming system just because they're tired of farming so why can't we have an alchemy table right here which give gets us to another suggestion why can't we have bigger condensed cap why can't we only hold five condensed i haven't used resin in a long time but i know that the time will come when i'll get a, a character i absolutely love and i'll have to waste to use not waste all of these 68 fragile resin and i'll have to craft five to leave the domain craft five condensed go back here farm leave the domain craft five condensed go back here farm why can't i craft 500 condensed and just stay here for 20 hours straight and farm my uh, my artifact why isn't that a thing which give uh, which gi gets us to another suggestion that's tied to this one if you know Honkai Impact Third, there is a system where you can, um, I don't know, quick farm. I don't know how to explain it to someone who haven't played Honkai Impact Third. For example, in this domain, right? I can pay, let's, let's say this uh, suggestion was added. I can pay 20 or even a condensed to just sweep up this domain and give me the rewards. I don't have to come in here prepare a team and have the uh, rewards at the end i can just do that a couple of times just quick swap if you don't want to uh, if you feel like this is uh, annoying or uh, it doesn't let you play the game then um, i want to hear your thoughts on when you'll have uh, 5000 resin here because uh, you want to farm a character and you need to, I don't know, farm a domain 500 times. I would really love to hear what you think on that uh, on that time. When you do something so repeatedly that you, you forget this game even exists after a while. And now, another suggestion. That was a quick suggestion because uh, they're all tied together on that uh, artifact system and artifact farming. Because it does get boring after a while. I stopped farming artifacts i don't know a couple months ago and for to be honest it doesn't feel like 
I'm missing on anything. Every time I get a new character, for example, when I got Furina uh, on, in her release date, or when I got Dea, because why not? I just farm the domain one time with what random artifacts I can get her. As you can see, my Dea is on two attack uh, tenacity randomly, and. Um, it doesn't feel like you need more than that because to farm to get a godly artifact to get like that it doesn't raise your uh, your damage by any means so artifact farming at that point at this point is actually useless for me at least i don't know any other uh, other person that will think that as you can see i have a lot of characters on level 90 they all have artifacts and uh, for what content we have it's not really um, a thing to just farm more and to get better uh, better damage because you won't get that much of a difference which leaves us to something very important that i la i actually enjoyed i will go back to honkai impact third that something that they have and uh, i wish genshin will have as well you know we have spiral abyss when you go with a team cube just do some floors or do something like that right there is a thing in Honkai Impact 3rd, it's called the Elysian Realm, Elysian Real, Realm, or whatever you pronounce it, where you get a character and you play with that character like you play as Spiral Abyss. For example, let me actually try to explain this on a, on, on a Genshin perspective. Imagine you, you always reset these, you get to play Spiral Abyss starting from floor 1, with a different with different difficulties you let's say you set a difficulty here uh, extremely hard and then you start with uh, floor one but you don't do a team with synergy with something like that you get only one character and you can get buffs or stats or anything depending on what character you got for example in elisha realm your character that you pick we can uh, have different play styles based on what you get uh, on the on those buffs buffs there are buffs that changes your gameplay completely and makes that character easily go uh, one versus all for example what the constellations do on uh, on some of our characters let's uh, give a good example kazuha kazuha the difference between his first five constellations where he is a sub DPS, a CC or whatever you want to call it, and the sixth constellation where he straight up becomes a DPS is massive. Imagine this thing happening with something to test your powers or something to uh, actually enjoy playing. You hear, you, you enter here, you, you want to do something, you want to test uh, a character, I want to play Keqing with, I don't know, five ults at the same time. Just do a run, have a run, have a new record, have something that uh, will make, uh, will give you some pleasure. And then reach here and realize that uh, the character is extremely strong, you got everything you wanted uh, from it. You got every buffs you uh, buff you could, and when you reach here, you realize that uh, it doesn't matter because uh, you get one shot. You didn't do something extremely insif insignificant with a buff a buff here on floor five. That would be a good challenge and a good content for this game. And this, I think, was my biggest suggestion in this uh, in this game that is someone that they could add we're not done here don't worry i have a lot of things here on the list i have my list here near me which gets us actually i think i can link this to a bigger level cap and i can uh, link that with uh, something else uh, after this one but my ocd my ocd hates this game because of one thing why is the cap 90 and not a hundred i hate this thing and i want to suggest that we can do uh we can get a level 100 character maybe more farm to have something to do you know for example when you get let me get someone who doesn't uh, screams nahida as you can see 
if you add all of these materials all of these boss materials up to your maximum level you'll get 46 right how about we raise the cap on our level 90 characters we do a seventh ascension the last ascension with 46 of these so if you want to farm there you go you can farm maybe more of these just a lot of uh, a lot of uh, um, roaming around and a lot of farming but you get a level 100 character which is a good cap more damage more stuff more things to consider and more quests to do because when you when we get that we'll have at least myself i'll have all of these characters to raise to 100 i know there there's people that say that 100 is that 90 is not even worth but it's a good good goal. Those those uh, people farm uh, uh, artifacts every single day and say that uh, their level 80 character can uh, do millions of damage. Sure, do what you want. It's your game. But my OCD, when I see all of these characters 90 and not a good round 100, is killing me. Which get, goes into the next thing that I can uh, I can do with this one. Um, when we see a character here, featured on a banner, how about we do a quick sale? Not on the wish banner, but when you get, you actually get the character. For example, let's say, now Ito is featured, right? Ito is here, right? Yeah. So let's say Ito is here, right? You have Ito at a level 30, right? You want to level him up. Level 30, I don't know what is it. Level 40, that's the second ascension. 40, 50, I don't know what it is. How about we do a quick sale here? Instead of 60k, you, we do 30k. Instead of 4 of these, you get 2 of these. Same with only Kabuto because these things are annoying to get. And when you reach here and you level him up on the same day you got it, when you reach here, you'll be very thankful for this thing because you won't have to spend hours getting these guys or farming this wolf. You'll just spend half that time. Can we do this? This would be a great, like a, a great featuring of the characters. What is this? This thing has been like this for a couple of years now. They haven't added a new character, a new chapter since Lue was introduced, as you can see, the last thing that uh, we had, let me see if I can find it, is the Shrine of the Deaths. These are in uh, in general with Spiral Abyss. Um, character to phase 5 and character to, three characters to phase 5, and that's it. There's things here that uh, happens in um, Lue, happens in Mondstadt, and that's it. We don't even have an Inazuma chapter, and as you can see now, we have not Mondstadt and Lue, and that's it. We have Inazuma, Sumeru, Fontaine, even these things, the Enkanomiya that I completely forgot about, and the Chasm, that again I completely forgot about. As you can see, I, didn't, I don't even have 100% exploration. But we have a lot of regions now, a lot of challenges to, to do. I, I'm talking about new player stuff here because uh, obviously when uh, I get if uh, the book updates and I get that thing, I'm more than sure that I have all of those completed because I have 100% exploration in Inazuma, 100% everywhere, almost 100%. But for new players to explore and to see how this uh, uh, this handbook will help their their uh, stuff when i got this hand handbook first time it was amazing to see the rewards and to see a good guide a good good walkthrough and i know we have this one now but this one is not actually that all right i mean everything will on me says formidable but um, for new players yeah it will be something weird oh and one thing that i want to comment on this why is um this thing suggesting to max out on your characters or to crown your characters because there are characters that don't need that crown or it's just a waste of resources for example nahida why would you want to raise your basic attack i have nahida at basic level 8 just for the memes but uh, as you can see um 
this suggested to go even further and i know i have someone here that's on uh, level nine even ito ito is all right uh let me see i think you are on level nine yeah this to upgrade to level 10 why would you want to triple crown every character you have i don't even think you have enough crowns for that see why would you want to raise Bennett's normal attack? What are you going to do? Main 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 character Bennett? I mean he is kind of an MC, but still. Alright. Next thing that I want. Let me talk about the security on this game because it's kind of kind of low. They added that they added that uh, account user center if I remember right. On here, right. Uh, I will censor this if I do remember to do that. Um, they added the mobile thing and to link accounts with all of these uh, platforms. But if someone gets on your account, if someone somehow hacks your email, that's a problem. Because I, some, someone did that on my, on my account. I have proof on uh, all those things i even made a video on uh, on that i will link it to top right if i remember um someone can literally hack your account and change your email without you even knowing and then it's bye bye account the one thing they need to do is just enter your account and that's it because if you have a changed email then your account is down there's nothing you can do. You can basically link, enter on these. You can enter with these. Again, I will make sure to censor these if I don't remember, if I remember. But they can uh, not unlink these. At least that's a thing. But they can change the other things. So how about we do... A more secure thing which is the Google Authenticator that only you and your phone will have access to or why don't they develop no there is a an app on uh, on Genshin on the phone that's like I don't know Instagram if you want to link that with something the whole lab why can't we have something like the Battle.net security that uh, you get a code from uh, that app or you need to approve with the app so that only your phone, only your identity uh, gets through however security. So only you can get uh, into your account. Why isn't this a thing? And speaking of security, why can people delete these things? Why is this a thing? Why can you just go here, do this, and go to a random level one weapon, give, click enhance and go here and do this? Why is this a thing and why can you do this? Going back to Honkai Impact, third, right? Even that game that's older that's i don't know five six seven years older i don't know uh, when they started 20, 2016 i have no idea have a system that's against these these things they don't remove the deletion permanently but when you click this and it's locked if you want to unlock it you click this unlock button and you have to wait 24 hours with this with this unlock button to do anything with this web with this thing why can't we have something like this in the in this game as well why isn't this a thing because if we have access to this thing if we have access to our account while it's in hacking pro progression like i had again i explained it in the video um I could just be here. I saw all of my uh, uh, weapons like this unlocked with all the um, locks being with 24 hours and uh, says that you have to wait 24 hours to do something with it. They, the hacker couldn't do anything with the weapons and I could have just 
get on my account be if i was able to access the account i could just get back and boom no you don't and you have they have to do this again so they will have 24 hours they have to have me out of the game out of the account for 24 hours straight to do something with this account why isn't this a thing and why they don't don't they have like like a foolproof security like this to make sure that your hard work uh, weapons hard work money sometimes money sometimes just luck don't get deleted just like that please do something about it <sighs> let's go uh, to another suggestion before uh, before uh, my um, my veins pop let's do something easier how about the treasure compass i know there will be an update with the treasure compass that will uh, will show a chest on your map when you when you use it will show the chest on your uh, on your mini map up here but there's one thing I want to know, because uh, I won't be so sure. I always um, leave this suggestion and uh, it doesn't seem like they did something. Um, the treasure compass, any of these treasure compasses that you have uh, on each region. When you have it and you press it, it has a range, right? So for example, I think the range is something like this. It's not that big, right? But one thing that would be nice is to have an infinite range for the same region because when you see as you can see i have a hundred percent here right but even if this uh, on this hundred percent there are still chests there chests there and uh, things that uh, i haven't found for example i think a couple of days ago i found a silly random in the middle of the monster and i wasn't even sure it was a silly until i got close i have a hundred percent here for i i've had this a hundred percent for i think a year now and uh, I can I still find things here. But for example, if you want 100% a region like Sumeru, like this thing that has a lot of mountains, a lot of layers here, and you have 99%, that treasure compass becomes almost useless because the limited range on that thing makes your exploration thing way worse than it actually is. So why don't we have, for example, if you're here and press the Sumeru compass, find the chest that's here. If this is the last last chest you have on the entire Sumeru, why can't we do this? It will be way easier and way, way more fun to do this than to just stay and see, see this compass at 4 seconds every time because uh, it hasn't found anything. Just go and go and press and nothing happens and it's just annoying. Now, I have something here that uh, there's a lot of people that will jump in the comment section like they did on my uh, on my uh, do not do this in Genshin Impact video. Um, I would love to have toggable constellations. I would really love to. Because if you don't know, once you activate a constellation, yara yara, you cannot go back. But for example, I want to test, there are people that don't have, um, for example, C1 Kazuha, right? And uh, when you unlock a constellation and you cannot go back, you literally forget how it is to not have the constellation. For example, I uh, my friend asked me to play on his account uh, to do some commissions and something because he couldn't, uh, uh, he couldn't enter. And he doesn't have C1 Kazuha, right? I think I did his abyss because uh, he's playing on PS and he's, uh, he's not that good at it. Um, I literally forgot how C1 Kazuha is and I literally forgot C1 Kazuha was a thing because every time I played Kazuha on his account, I would have done E, Q, E, right? But the second E wouldn't work. I literally forgot how that thing works <laughs> and i'll do another example here uh, i think my ayakasi to i mean there are things that uh, are nice to have to leave there like them like that but for example i think a lot of people don't like the tartalia c4 and c6 that would be 
I, I don't I don't rem remember what this C4 uh, does. I thought uh, people don't like it because it's the same as C6 Bennett. Um, but uh, yeah, I will go back to C6 Bennett. People hated and hated me for saying that this is not good. It is good for some characters, even though the character that are not good with C6 Bennett uh, does have a lot of characters. And so what? I love my Bennett. I want to play with him. Why can't I just click, toggle, and then do, do that? And then go spam him with Eula just for uh, a big number sake, just because I can, just because I want to see Eula. Where's my Eula? Just because I want to see Eula have five thousand attack. Why? Wh why? Why can't I do this? I want to do that. Why can't I? And for example, what can actually be done here, and it's, it will be actually nice, is to unlock the next character uh, to, um, sorry to unlock the next constellation like you have here you need to have the prior but to use this that constellation you don't need to have that one activated how about that for example if you have a 6 character i don't know let me get tartal is not the best uh, example for example you i don't know just because i can you want to use the c6 the c6 um, the C6, right? But you don't want to use any of these to test only the pure raw C6 strength. How about we do the, just activate this one and deactivate all of this? And this this way, we don't have thir level 13 here, we don't have level 13 here, we can test what would be like if Zhao had just C6, he could have done just that, uh, that C6 thing with uh, e e e e every time you use your ult and uh, hit more than two characters without having the bonus damage from this to ha to just see its raw damage that would have been actually fun or let's say i have c6 kazuha right i just want to not have 5000 em i don't want to have like a lot of energy a lot of things i don't want to test this because these things uh, influence the um, the C6 damage. How about I just get this? I press E and I just basic to see how will uh, how how will it react. There's a lot of things that uh, would have been actually nice to do. For example, let's say C6 Ganyu. C6 Ganyu. This has cryo resistance shred. This has a lot of resistance shred. But this thing gives you an additional E. What would, be like, would it be like to have just one E with C6 and just do E, click, and not have another E? I'm just suggesting here, don't uh, don't take me for granted. But uh, would have been nice. Uh, I wanted to do this because uh, I, know, I do remember C4 Tartalia being a problem for most people. So let's say you activate all of these and skip the C4. I don't know if I'm out to date or not. If you want to leave me in the com leave it in the comments. Do what you want. Uh, I, I will uh, I will take a peek and uh, and I will see. Uh, but now, let me see. Now the next thing that I want to suggest is. First of all, I will just show. I'm just going, just taking a stroll in the middle of the night. Right, just seeing what the what everything is uh, is like. Just admiring the scenery, the um, whatever. And I re I remember I had to do something. I have to do I don't know. I need to get there to the mission, right? And to need to collect or to submit some items, right? I just go here, and for some random reason, these guys just spot me. <laughs> Out of nowhere. And now I cannot submit items. I cannot interact with things. Because I'm in combat. And they are aggressive. Just because they can. Why don't we have like a neutral difficulty? 
that for example let's say we have here some restriction restricted areas i'll just say these are their camps so you're not allowed to get there because uh, they will get mad right i understand that but there are hillichers situated randomly near villages or for example i don't know in sumeru there are treasure hoarders here right and they see you from across the map and now that you are in combat you cannot do anything there which is extremely annoying why can't we have a neutral difficulty so that if we uh, we don't get spotted by enemies or they don't just start a fight because uh, we are do we're just going past them and they only attack if we attack why can't we have that would have been way nicer to not uh, have a, a hillager spot me from across the mountain because i'm just taking a good a nice path now let me see what i have here that i haven't said oh yeah the 3d rendered cutscenes aren't you tired of just um plain text and unnatural movement on uh, on characters when they talk to someone for example i go to talk to you and it's just like this is the same movement the same thing all over again i just tell him about something as you can see it's the same movement i know this is literally an npc vibe or an npc thing but at least in the archon quest where is literally the most important thing the main story of this game please have more beautiful one of the, those beautiful 3d rendered cutscenes instead of just pure dialogue and pure unsaturated unemotional uh, vibes to the characters make them more natural i would love to see i don't know if you enter somewhere you enter a cutscene you know like uh, games used to do a lot of people would have uh, would uh, would agree with me and now that we ha we are here i think this is the last thing I, on my list uh let me have a look here we reached the last thing that is the most importantly and i really want this one if i can go to the inazuma real quick you do know that there's a lot of characters with um, with sk custom skins like Keqing or Ayaka for example and it's just it or Shenha I have a good example here but there is one shop here that would have been would be perfect for this uh, for this kind of stuff here the Ogura textiles and kimonos or I don't know even the Chioria shop for example, when you do Chiori's, uh, Chiori's story quest that uh, I did, I need to upload the, to upload the video. Um, can we have a full-on customizable character? I know this is way out of uh, out, out of my league, but hear me out. Ayaka, I'll give an example of Ayaka because uh, it's my favorite character, right? Let me place her on uh, on a default a default uh, things. Have her like a character, right? And make her customizable. For example, do not leave the patterns that uh, they have with uh, Japanese style or her colors or anything, right? Have her hair be untied. I don't know have a different uh, a different costume on her for example you can purchase these kimonos and have her wear a kimono or even the traveler have something for the traveler like these little details that you can customize to have to fit for uh, to fit better on your character to have to make yourself be proud of owning a character right this level of customizable stuff would make this game really shine I will give example on, Lum on my Lumin here. For example, Lumin, right? Have her hair. I know she looks amazing, right? She looks beautiful. But what if I get a different, a different skirt for her? What if I get like a full-on men's costume? Have her, I don't know, like Navia with sunglasses. Have her wear sunglasses all the time. Have her wear an umbrella these little accessories have her wear i don't know things 
a bit a better hair a wig or something have her long with long hair have her with short hair there's these little details that would actually make a character stand out imagine in the domains when you uh, find out more people if, if someone joins your world and they see uh, a, a, the same character they have lumin that uh, is way different than theirs more customizable and you, they can see your work of art the same you can uh, see if you join someone's serenity pot they see a different house there they see a different layout of the of the furniture they see uh, something different what can we do this with characters as well there's a lot of games that focus on uh, these customizable things and customizable uh, uh, artworks how about we do this the same? We, we don't need to uh, actually change the abilities or change the gameplay or change anything. Just the character's overall look. Just the character's overall, overall um, appearance. This dressing room has to be expanded because one skin every year is not relatable as well. It's way... is actually weird. It's actually... So, feels so cheap. You know, look, have this uh, fan that she has, if that's a, a, a fan, I don't remember what the name is, uh, have this be red, blue, white, green, different colors, different, different uh, uh, textures, if you, if you understand me, have uh, characters cross dress, that would be actually fun, to have, I don't know, Furina um, be dressed like Keqing. To have two different cultures uh, going together. To have Furina in a kimono. That would be nice. You know? Change them, but not uh, destroy the character. Make them be customizable. I know I'm quoting a lot of, uh, a lot of mods here. I don't uh, intend on, uh, on uh, encouraging the mod the modding community because uh, I'm not sure how legal that is. I know people mod and I know people do this. Uh, I think I leave some example here. I don't want to, um, to talk out of uh, out of place because I'm not sure how, uh, how legal it is. Even though it's just a filter and it's not uh, messing with games files so it's not out of terms and condition of the game and it's just an appearance but um, I still have no idea how legal that is. I don't mod, so don't uh, don't count me on uh, on experience. But I know people do, and I know how people uh, how people do that thing. And again, I don't know if it's legal. I don't know if it's not legal. Eh, legal, like it will get you banned, but uh, I don't think it will. Um, but yeah, these things would be nice. I would lo really love to have my Lumine, I don't know, have a, a special uh, outfit for her from someone for, Su for from Sumeru, I don't know. Have her every time I have an element to have even uh, patterns, like even have presets. For example, I have an outfit that goes well with uh, my with this green element that goes well when I, I'm in Sumeru, you know. I have an outfit that uh, uh, is on, a, on like a French style for Fontaine. Have this, uh, have, have it like this. Have Yula dress in a tango um, dress. I don't know, in a tango uh, outfit. I don't even know how it looks, but that's what I got in mind. This skin for Ganyu is actually nice. Look, it, it looks the same as Furina almost. Why? How, how about, I don't know, take this and swap this out. Have Furina dress like this and have Ganyu look like this. To see how uh, how it will fit, have someone that doesn't fit the outfit like Dea, have someone dressed like this like Dea, have Dea in a kimono. You know, there's a lot of custom things that you can cr crisscross and have uh, them uh, be way customizable and to have this game feel way different. And that will be a uh, end game content in itself. And will take a lot of hours of or out of people just because of these things. And don't even uh, get me started on that TCG stuff. I ain't touching that ever again. It's extremely boring. Don't ask me. I've done all the levels. I've done everything. 
and don't uh, don't uh, call me on that again because I don't like it. I just did it for the primogens and that's it. I tried. I've played. Uh, I've played it. It reminded me of Hearthstone. I didn't like Hearthstone, so don't uh, don't uh, make me play that thing again. But that those were all the suggestions that I have here on um, on paper. I always update these. When I get uh, a new suggestion, I just put it here. If I think of uh, of one, I just uh, just en en enter it here and just paste it when uh, when we have the um, the service. If I can go quickly to the service, I think it's feedback. There you are. There is a permanent. I don't think I can uh, use it. Yeah, I, you already completed the survey. There is actually when you get a survey or every time you uh, there every time at the end of the patch, there's um, there's a survey there that uh, asks you what how was the event, how, any event, how was this patch, what do you think of the character, the new characters, the new weapons, and then at the end you have the open ended thing that you can introduce. Uh, then you can paste all of these suggestions that I I always do. I'm glad to hear that they uh, they start adding things like they added this uh, banner, even though it's it 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 uses these things. I don't really like it, but it's a start. So and this shows that uh, this game has a great potential, and they could add a lot of quality of life things, um, uh, quality uh, a lot of uh, quality of life things like they did on the alchemy thing that you can sort now. And yeah, that's that, and that's just my list of suggestions. And I would really love to hear what you guys have for suggestion, and what would you, what would you like to change in this game, or to add, or even to remove. If you don't like something, just uh, just let me know in the comments. I actually want to uh, to see what uh, what you guys think. But that was this video. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, this uh, this one. I don't know how long it will be, but uh, um, but we'll see. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment. I really want to, see, to hear your comment, uh, your thoughts about this one. Uh, don't forget about the bell, a subscribe. Always helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.